My daughter, 15 slash chef, was shown a hurtful video made by her cousin, 16 slash chef. I have a really good relationship with my sister and thought our families got along pretty well. My daughter is a little socially awkward and always looked forward to visiting with her cousins because they're around her age. It wasn't that frequent of a thing, just calls on birthdays, holiday visits, and the occasional family trip to the beach. With the pandemic, we haven't been able to do family trips, so instead we've started trying to stay in touch via family Zoom video chats instead. A week or so ago we did a call just to check in and say hi. My daughter was happy to see her aunt and her cousins. She had mentioned that the cousin closest to her age had been acting weird, but we figured it was just pandemic-related stress and let it go. We decided to stop by to drop off their Christmas gifts the other day and stayed on the porch. For safety reasons because of the pandemic. My brother-in-law answered, I'm pretty sure he's never liked me, but that's probably irrelevant, and told me to just wait there while he got my sister to deal with us. While he was gone, their oldest daughter came to the door with a smirk on her face and asked how we were doing. We had some idle chatter, then she mentioned something about how if we had a gift for her sister, the middle daughter 16 slash chef from the title, we should probably just give it to her instead, or take it back. I asked why, and she whipped out her tablet and showed me a recording of a presentation where middle cousin had recorded clips from the Zoom call with my daughter and spent the entire time mocking her. I won't get into specifics, but it was incredibly hurtful, and my daughter started crying and walked away to sit in the car before the video presentation was even finished. I was so shocked I didn't know what to say. By the time my sister came to the door I was in tears myself. My sister saw her eldest with the tablet and seemed to immediately know what had happened and asked her to go back inside. My sister looked at me and told me she was sorry, but all I could do was shake my head and gather the gifts to leave. I spent the evening with my daughter trying to cheer her up, but I don't think this is the type of thing she's going to get over quickly. I get that she's not as outgoing as her cousins, and that they just had a familial relationship instead of being outright friends but she did at least think her cousins loved her as family. She and I are both crushed to find out we were wrong on that assumption. I'm at a loss here. First of all, I'm not sure what I can say or do to ever repair the relationship between my daughter and her cousins. I'm not even sure I want to try. Secondly, I'm not sure how I can ever be in the same room with my sister's children knowing this has happened. This feels like an enormous rift in our relationship that I'm not sure how to bridge. My sister has left a couple of tearful voicemails and I do truly believe she feels remorse. But I haven't heard a thing from any of the others in the family. If you all were in my situation, what would you do to repair the relationship? Too long didn't read, daughter was shown a presentation where she was recorded and mocked by her cousin. Not sure how to resolve this situation in a way that helps my daughter feel better and repair the relationship with my sister's family. I drop them like a hot potato. One cousin made the hurtful presentation, the other was mean enough to make you two watch not giving a damn about your tears and hurt and your bill thought it funny and laughed it off. What are those people? You don't repair it. And I know that may sound terrible but cutting toxic people out of your life is the best option. They have no respect of love for you or your daughter. You know how this feels I have not spoken to my mother in 5 years. She would get drunk and leave me voicemails about how I wasn't her daughter just an inconvenience and I was nothing like her. Blah blah blah. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'd hate to lose contact with my sister, but I think I'm going to tell my daughter it's her choice if she ever wants to interact with that side of the family again. I want to leave it up to her. As for my nieces and Bill, as far as I'm concerned they can kick rocks. Hopefully I'll forgive someday but it's just too raw right now. I had cousins like this growing up, I was much younger and they resented me being around. Finally, other kids came into the picture so I finally didn't have to socialize with them anymore. But we were never close like the parents wanted. I was always afraid of being treated like dirt again and frankly I never wanted to go there again. It was also different. I actually graduated from college unlike my tormentors and helped my younger cousins when they were struggling with college classes. I made a deal with them that they would help the next group of cousins that needed help. Making sure the help is there for whoever needs it. 
I think you have a conversation with your sister that she knew about it and didn't destroy it. The kid isn't being punished. This is mean girl shit that gets kids kicked out of school these days. She may want to address it. Complete with an apology. And your daughter doesn't have to forgive or get over it. But, this kind of mean girl crap happened before the extra tech and it won't stop. Good heavens. I'm sorry. Thank you. I think I really do need to sit down and have a long conversation with my sister. I'm just not ready yet. I hope she understands that. And you're right. I think I may just tell my daughter that someday she may want slash be able to forgive her cousin but she doesn't have to right now and maybe we can skip out on the family gatherings next year. My, 21F, racist neighbor insulted my husband, 30M, who is black because he thought he was abusing me, and it was my fault. Yesterday my husband and I went to visit his sister and when we came home we were joking about something that had happened a few minutes ago. While I was looking for the keys inside my back he was trying to hug me from behind and tickle me and I was pushing him away, but I was joking. Our neighbor saw us and and ran straight to us and pushed my husband away, and he started asking me if I was okay, and if I wanted to go stay at his house while he called the police. I explained him that we were just fooling around and he insisted that my husband was trying to hit me and that I was not telling the truth because I was afraid. I explained him again what was happening but he didn't understand, he started insulting my husband and said horrible things about his skin color. So I told him that I was okay and that it was best for him to leave or else I was going to call the police, he told me that he would be watching us and then he left. After that I tried to talk to my husband but he just said that what happened didn't matter so I asked him why he didn't say anything when our neighbor was insulting him and he said that's what his mom taught him, to avoid any conflict with white people. But I don't understand that, that man was telling him horrible things and he didn't even try to defend himself. Honestly I feel horrible because I feel like it was all my fault, because if I hadn't acted as I did none of that would have happened. I'm white and I've made thousands of times this kind of joke with my sisters or friends and nobody ever accused me of wanting to hit them, and I didn't think that anyone would ever accuse him of that, because he's the sweetest person I've ever met and he never but never abused me in any way. This is the first time in all these years of relationship that I'm with him when someone attacked him because of his skin color and now I feel so bad so I apologize to him for acting like I did and he told me that ever Everything is fine but I know that the things that man said hurt him, but I don't know how to talk about it without making him feel uncomfortable, how could I talk to him about it? Well, your husband is more experienced in these things and he did the right thing. You do not fight back in a situation like this. You try to remain calm, just as he did. You don't escalate the issue. It sounds more like you need to talk about this than he does. If you do talk about it, don't try to guess how he's feeling, just talk about how you're feeling about it. Otherwise, just try to let it go. Correct. It's much better to be embarrassed but alive than it is to be justified and dead. Obligatory, as a black man. I can give you some perspective. I've experienced overt racism in this way a couple times. One time some friends and I were in a restaurant in a city that's known for being racist. A man came in and started saying very racist things about my friend and I to the person he was with. We know it was about us because everybody else in the restaurant was white. My friend and I could have snapped on the guy, beat him up whatever. But sometimes in these situations taking the high road is best just because you can end up looking like like the bad guy. Had your husband snapped and cops came it could very easily end up with your husband being the one in trouble. Sucks but that's reality. Please try to understand this. I know why you feel the way you feel and thinking your husband should have said something, but try to understand that he's doing what he thinks is best and you can't tell him how to feel. Hug your husband and tell him you love him all you can do. As far as your piece of shit neighbor, warn your other neighbors about it. His behavior shouldn't be swept under the rug. Everybody in your neighborhood should know about it. Acknowledge what happened and how horrible it was. Always do exactly what you did. Stand up for him and tell the racist to kick rocks. And tell your husband how much you love him. But he just said that what happened didn't matter so I asked him why he didn't say anything when our neighbor was insulting him and he said that's what his mom taught him, to avoid any conflict with white people. But I don't understand that, 
What do you think would have happened if your husband became assertive, or as the neighbor and the police would say aggressive, and your neighbor called the police saying that his black neighbor was hitting you? Ask yourself that question and you know why your husband remained calm. Found out I have a twin back home that I never knew about because my parents didn't want to adopt a baby with a disability. I was adopted from India when I was 6 months old. I'm now 28. Since my parents are white I obviously knew I was adopted from a young age. The only thing I was told was that my bio parents were very poor so they put me in an orphanage and both moved away to find work. My parents were also from two different faiths and they had me out of wedlock so I was rejected by both sides of their family. Thought I knew the full story until very recently. My parents have a box of my things when they first adopted me like the clothes I was wearing, my toys, my papers etc in a box somewhere in their closet. When I found out I was pregnant last month I wanted those things to give to my daughter. My parents had no problem giving me the box with all the things in it. When I took the box back home to look at it, I was looking over all the pages. Inside the box there's a lot of papers in Marathi with an English text version as well. There's about 30 pages in there. My friend is Indian but she speaks Hindi primarily but knows a bit of Marathi. She told me the written texts are similar so one day when she was over we decided to go over the papers for fun. To my disappointment she couldn't understand a lick of what the Marathi papers said but she noticed a name. Nekashu and told me she recognized that as meaning unwanted daughter. After looking over the papers for a while she told me she also noticed another word sister being mentioned on some of the papers. I was so thrown off. I asked her to clarify but she didn't really know much else because she's not that fluent and thought she was making a mistake and said she could take a picture and ask her dad who's fluent what it means exactly and what they're referring to. The English text version said nothing about a sister and it was supposed to be a direct translation. Translation. When my friend left I called my mom and told her that the funniest thing just happened, my friend was very badly trying to translate the Marathi papers and noticed the word sister but we think it's just a mistake. My mom chuckled nervously and said it must be a mistake and changed the convo. In hindsight it was clear as day but at the time I didn't think twice of it. My friend texted me a few days ago saying her dad looked at the pictures and said that the Marathi paper said that I was born a twin but my twin was born with a a missing lower leg and an arm and is basically inadoptable. My twin was sent to a special adoption center and that's all the paper says about that. I was shocked. A twin? I was led to believe I was an only child. I have a twin sister out there somewhere in India. Is she alive? Is she well? Does she know about me? Ever since I found out I have a whole twin out there I feel like a part of me is missing. I have someone with my exact DNA out there. My husband is just as shocked as me. He was there when I went over to my parents house to confront them. At first they denied it and said my friend's dad mistranslated it but after some badgering and crying they finally admitted to it. My dad says they really wanted me and they couldn't afford to raise a disabled child and they didn't want to leave without me. They tried to say they loved me so much and were so set on adopting me and the agency only told them about my sister once they already bonded with me and that my sister was better off back in India because she would be too big a burden. I feel so lost and confused and like I don't know what to do. I'm pregnant and my hormones are crazy. I haven't spoken to my parents since and my brother told me they haven't stopped crying. What should I do?